So the motor real noisy. Anything stuck. Can I get in there? I can't turn it from the outside. So unplug the AD pole. Helicopter is definitely here. Put the show on. If you do. One screw. Now the front one. They didn't make this come apart. The ground is off. Okay. Sparker out. I gotta remove these 10 millimeters. One, two, can I get to the back? Gotta be one in the back somewhere. Three, four. So, this one's gonna be the hardest. Yep. Where's the flame sensor? That's not up here too, right? No. Thank you.
What did I forget? Not them all. Where's my flat screwdriver? People cost themselves so much more money when they hang out when you work. Things go slower. Okay, good. But this seal's done anyway. So is the next seal. Boom. I gotta take the whole top off. Oh, this fire gasket's done too. is not coming off easy. Whew. There's a little crap inside this tube. If I get to one, that's hard to get to. Boom, there's one busted piece. Sounds like there's a bunch in here. Lots of little broken pieces. Yeah, this thing is godish. Get these out, they're my fires. Fire, fire. Uh oh, come on out, come on, right there. Okay, I got them all out. Oh, one left. Boom. Still more. Boom. screws it comes up one problem bad manufacturing that <laughs> all these boilers is the hardest one to get
Jo també sabia que a l'Escola de Try to get to the hard one. It's gonna suck. <laughs> no easy way to get to that. Pop it out. <sighs> Put these all on the side. Yeah. I don't care. I charge by the minute. Not even the flattest little sack will get in there. Still looks good, but it could fit in there better. Uh, I got a bit they can get there. So I am returning. I was here the other night. No heat, no hot water. All right. First thing first, I gotta remove. This, I already pulled the boiler apart. This thing is breaking apart, so I got a new one, but be gentle with it. The new one looks weird. I scoped my parts out already. That does not look alike. One thing I'm noticing is the whole pattern does line up. Is that the new gasket? So we're going to call this the box. Combustion insulation. Okay, that's the insulation. Combustion blower. With the blower gasket. Two screwdrivers came with it, nice. Allen key. A hex Allen key. Right here. The tool. Alright, so this thing busted up and broke, so took it apart the other night. 
aim this nice driver long enough to fit here. gaskets because I didn't want to chance this stuff I'm trying to reuse it plastic again why why triangle tube? I think you learned from Munchkin. Yeah, so. And I don't care on gas, I never reuse. Ooh. I gotta put the paper on. So this is gonna sit. This. It's got little, little indents right here. Which goes here. Burner plate, the gas valve I gotta put back. No difference. I just wouldn't sit this way. It wouldn't block. I can put this on next. We wouldn't be blocking that.
go. Two. Three. This is super handy. But that would be perfect. First part, getting it in. <laughs> Definitely not going to be fun. Giving it my hand in there to start it. I should have done that first. Mm, let's remove this. Very long driver. Out of the way. All right, we get a little more space in play. Get my hand in here. <laughs> if not all the way. At least partially to meet up with this. Oh, so close. Munchkins just like this. There we go. it on it's just inch pounds I don't want to crush Keep a T20 always in the bag. Getting a free long one's cool. Nope, that's not it. Any smaller ones. Nope. Small. 
going on with the ring. It... it up. This see this goes straight down. This most likely like that. apart a few days earlier I remember you had to get to put it back together makes you think weird <laughs> but it's not like you have I matched up how it looked like on the other side oh they made the plastic so close Me a screw. Nope, three. I want to get a new gasket. Let's get a new tube. Get them some separate. I don't know why. Get a cut out just to avoid. Gas stuff always just change gaskets all the time. Let's get this on.
gonna go this way. Just like that. <sighs> yep. This is pretty much just gonna line right up. I'm gonna first put the igniter on now to help hold this in place so it doesn't move. somehow. I don't see why they made it. Now they did. Oh my hand is stuck. <laughs> well. Next time separate. something <sighs> I think it's designed to break if you have to pull the blower charge battery. Whatever. We got a new battery. That's why the gas valve off. This would be so much easier. Because then I can go straight up with it. <laughs> the gas valve on, that's why I took the gas valve off. Four. I might pop it back off. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, seriously? <sighs> My igniter's going here. don't really match that or the manufacturer screwed it all up <laughs> I 
Let's see, is there only one way it fits? Oh yeah, it fits there. But okay, so if I'm gonna put it here, let's just say I put it there. I flip the fan, wouldn't it be on top of my igniter? But let's follow the bolt pattern. This way. I can live with this. Still in there, I hope. been like five days four or five days i don't even know actually no oh yeah sunday night it's thursday Whew. all right so like this up over and now this needs to line up here top easy to wrench these out not in the way so they made the gasket one piece the fire blanket like the original then they made these walls where it just disintegrates as you work next to it it falls apart Oh yeah. And see this is a little ripped up so couldn't reuse. Let me swap this with that. Just because that's harder to put on probably because it's in the back. I don't even think it's the right thread. Is that what's wrong with it? I lost it, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, I can get one for my truck. Because if the threads are screwy, I don't want to use it. Damage any threads here. 
and I can't get it on or off. Alright, so. Inch pounds, inch pounds. That's the bad one. Yeah. I want to strip that, so I strip that. that holding it that's a problem I have exhaust coming in to this unit could have led to that fan failure that's my exhaust side though but the exhaust side's doing it now the intake is just down here at least. But down. Um. This is way too long probably to use here. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm, that's getting a little tight, so. another one yeah mm. 
I can't even see, so I'm going by feel. Let's make a cabinet where whoever works here is going to rub off all the insulation. But it's alright. <sighs> okay, so there's that. And I had this. Which is like a snorkel kind of thing, I guess. That way. Gas, where's my power? This. Here's the fan. Oh, I can't even see it. Where's the old one? Okay, so the old one is so right on the top. And this is gonna go exactly on the top, but a little bit past. Yeah. This one, hey, I can't see what I'm doing. Just hoping. Okay, well, what way are the. Ooh, this is made to slide in? No. So, this is the gas valve. You know, force the gas valve as the speed tap. Here's the speed tap. Around back, over top. Okay. Got that. That was the ground wire. This comes to the sparker. I gotta tighten that. Exhaust. So this is going to come straight through. Well, this is going this way. This was fun. <laughs> Not. Sensor. Don't want the sensor. 
getting hit by the controls. Everything else is plugged in. Sparker comes through, comes up, comes over, comes behind the exhaust. Let's not have it pinched by the exhaust so it won't strip the wire. Sparks in the right spot. Gas comes up. Ah, gas is off. Where? Over here. This is really going, but let's see. We have a duplicate boiler. Where's that piece? Okay, just straight down. Okay, straight down. Close it. Power. See what happens. Boiler is not at correct speed. Okay, reset. Standby. Now the water heater is going to want to bring it on, so. Domestic water heater demand. It's not easy to see. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get enough. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Doesn't tell you everything here. It's like. Well, this is better than the brrrr. I'm going to close this up and take off. Until next time.